Superheroes in the kitchen, and speaking of superheroes, we are going to make superhero bone broth in the instant pot. That's right, my friends. Let's get the bones. I'm bone broth is a very simple process. Um, an instant pot is amazing for bone broth. You can make bone broth without an instant pot, and I do have a video on that. We will link on the end screen. It's one of our earlier videos. But um, the instant pot takes a two-day process down to one. Two hours. Two days to two hours. So definitely worth having an instant pot if the only thing you use it for is bone broth. Bone broth um, is amazing for your gut health. It's for healing. It is amazing. So one thing I do is I save all and any bones and I put them in the freezer. So I've got a variety today. I have some pork bones, I have chicken bones, and I try to make notes on them because I think I'll remember and I don't. Um, I don't even know. I think those are pork bones pork chop. from pork chop. So we're just going to throw it all together and I freeze it because you need about two chicken carcasses. And um, who eats two chickens in a dinner? We certainly don't. So we are just going to get all of the frozen bones put in the pot. So what I like to do is freeze my um, celery if it's going bad because it's amazing for putting in the bone broth. Um, there's really no recipe that I use. Um, the one thing you have to make sure of is to use apple cider vinegar because it leaches the nutrition out of the bones. It helps break them down. Um, so you just put a couple tablespoons of vinegar in your pot. Um, I like to add a leek. I think it adds a very nice flavor. Um, I like to add a couple of carrots and I like to add celery. Um, there's a hundred different ways. I know that you need to be careful doing um, garlic and stronger stronger tasting foods because it can alter your your broth. I mean if you're making it for certain soups and stews and you know that you need it to have a garlicky flavor, go for it. But you need to be quite careful. You don't want to um, not have it be versatile by adding a whole bunch of really strongly seasoned vegetables. So these carrots are a little bit past their prime, they're a little bit wrinkly, they're a little bit frozen from the fridge, but um, for the broth I think it'll be just fine. And it appears to be a little bit too full, but the bones are frozen, and so once I get the water added on there, it's going to melt down and they'll be just fine. Thank you. 
We are on a well, so I have no problem using tap water because I know it doesn't contain the um, nasties that um, often are in city water. This is above the max for the Instant Pot, but I'm going to be careful not to add a max amount of liquid. That way when the bones um, thaw out, it will be just fine. So it looks like we are well in range of being in the max line. So I'm gonna add the apple cider vinegar and we're gonna set it for two hours and we will have beautiful bone broth when we're done. So about two tablespoons. We will get the lid put on and it makes the most beautiful sound as it goes on. It's a happy sound. And uh, we're just gonna set the manual temperature to go up to two hours, which is 120. Which I thought I could use. So once you turn on the Instant Pot, if you're new to having an Instant Pot, it will give you three beats saying that it's on and it's ready to go. You'll also want your pressure relief valve on the top to be turned into the pressure side. So you want your pressure release valve to be to the side, um, on the pressure side. To release, you'll turn to the, the other side and the steam is able to release. But if the steam is able to release, it will never pressurize. So you'll turn it to the pressurized and then give it about 10, 15 minutes and this will start the countdown to beautiful bone broth. So it is almost done um, pressure releasing and so um, and it's kind of a chilly night it's warm I'm kind of enjoying warming up to it um, it's really nice instant pots are just really safe and really nice um, you don't have to babysit them set them and forget them but um, I need to give mine a good cleaning we use it a lot um, so the thing you want to make sure with bone broth is are your bones soft um, your chicken bones are going to be more soft than your thicker bones like beef and pork um, and turkey bones take longer to get soft as well. I have done a couple of batches of turkey broth with the same bones because they are more hard and I've been able to leach nutrition out of two batches. Um, the first batch is always better obviously. But we're going to open this up and um, see how the bones are looking and if I need to give it more time where they were frozen they might need a little more time and they might be fine we're just gonna see as soon as this is done and the little uh, red pressure knob pops down oh it smells amazing amazing so look how beautiful and rich oh that broth and it smells so good and one thing I really like to do with all these vegetables that are um, you know cooked to very very doneness because <laughs> that's the right word is um, I like to take it all out to my chickens they get a nice treat so let's find some bones and let's check for tenderness of the actual bone Looks like I'm finding lots. Here's some bones. Okay, so you want to, um, you know, it's done when your bones are brittle. Look at that. That's a brittle bone right there. I know some people can have eaten the bones. Um, I am not one that eats bones at this point in my life, but maybe, maybe someday. So yeah, this bone is just kind of falling apart. So that is done broth. Um, my chickens also like to eat the bones. Um, really good for them. The marrow is just really good. Look at that. Just amazing. So that's when you know that your your bones are done. Um, see, here's a chicken leg. It's probably too hot to touch. Yeah. Oh, see? See, that just comes right apart. So there you go. There you have it. Bone broth in the Instant Pot in two hours. Um, it takes a little bit longer than two hours just because of the um, warm up and cool down of the uh, actual Instant Pot, but that sure beats a couple of days. 
because um, before I was making bone broth, it took me two days simmering on the stove because midway through my first batch, my crock pot must have an auto shut off because it turned off in the middle of the night, ruining my first batch of bones because I had no idea how long they had been sitting. I didn't dare use them. I had tossed the whole pot. It was a really sad thing. So what you do next is go ahead and strain the broth into whatever method of straining you have. Um, I probably will not be doing that tonight because it is late. It's too hot to handle. I'm just gonna go ahead and put some tin foil over the top and get it in a fridge and um, I'll get it strained and um, put up tomorrow. So thanks for coming along today with us on this crazy adventure that we like to call homesteading. Give us the thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe. We could not do this without you awesome viewers and um, all your awesome comments. So hopefully we will see you tomorrow. Girl, and I love drinking um, bone broth. It's healthy for my bones. Mm, I love drinking it. I love bone and I love drinking bone broth. It makes me super strong. <laughs> and cut. <laughs>